What is going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. You may want to sit down. We got a lot to talk about. There's some things on here that people have been wanting, people have been needing, people have been saying, yo, DJ, do that. All right, let's do it. <laughs> first things first, we got new bailers. Yep, that's right. We got a Coon Baylor, Round Baylor, and we have a Massey Ferguson. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about right here. We got a Massey Ferguson Square Baylor. Ooh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. About to use some Masseys on somewhere. Oh my goodness. If you want to find these, you're going to go to tools. You're going to go to bailing technology. Go to the right a little bit. As always, with anything, Kuhn VB2190 right there. $56,000, and it requires 68 horsepower. Now, 56,000, 68 horsepower. 70 horsepower, 49. So it requires less, but it costs more. It's a little, it's odd, but it's fine. It is what it is. Then we have the Massey, 125 grand, 200 horsepower. How does that compare? Well, it's already way less than the big baler. However, there's a cost. 200 horsepower as opposed to 160 horsepower. And then if we compare that with the end game, 105,000, but 140 horsepower required. So still, still at the end of the day, this coon is your best bet for square balers, but there are more options now. <laughs> Definitely gonna be using that Massey. You know I am. Next up, we have the Flegel Combi Duplex Bell Fork. Now, of course, of course, I came in here and uh, saved the game and came back in, and all my bells were just everywhere. So it is what it is. But this is cool. Comes out for front loaders, telehandlers, wheel loaders. Pa pow, pa pow, pa pow right there baby uh do not try and do four bells with this and tilt it back one of the bells will fly and hit you in the face make sure you're doing three square bells or four round bells this is really designed for square bells granted anything works with anything if you can make it work it will work so you've got three different options here you're going to find this in bailing technology uh, which is kind of a weird place to find it but it is what it is nonetheless and if you know where to get it you are good so you're going to come in here 900 bucks front loader wheel loader telehandler bam get your change on you don't have to pay for anything next up we have the silage gabble <laughs> i don't think i was pronounced that right but it looks so cool Yo, this thing looks tight. I am loving it. I am loving it. It is a wheel loader thing right here. You can fold it, unfold it. It's actually pretty cool. If you take it like this, you probably pick up a bunch of bales with it. Yeah. So there you go. Unfold it, fold it. Takes a little bit less room if you need to uh, transport it in and out. It's all good. It's really cool. It does not hold as much as you think it would though. Uh, this is a wheel loader thing only. It's going to cost you 12200 bucks, and it holds 6,250 liters. So it doesn't hold, it's not that magic 10,000 number. And we want that magic 10,000 number, but it is what it is. Next up, we have the BioBelt Lightweight Bucket. It is back and nerfed. <laughs> <laughs> Toxicom, I don't think they did it. I, I have a feeling Giants did it. Because the last time we saw this bucket, we could hold, what, 11,495 liters, something like something insane. Well, not so much anymore, unfortunately. Uh, 79, actually, no, hey, hold, hold up, hold up. 7,900 for that. Okay, so hold 7,900. So it's not crazy, but it'll it'll do everything, which is great. Uh, you can come in, change your main color. Let's say we want to go for a dark red, and then our design color. We really want that to pop. So before, you could only change the main color, I believe. Now you can change anything about it. All colors are good. Attacher, telehandler, and wheel loader. Now, I don't know if it's in wheel loaders. No. It's not in wheel loaders, so you're going to have to go to telehandlers to find it. And then you can change it to a wheel loader configuration if you'd like. This is going to cost you five grand. Next up, we have a set of placeable walls and a fence pack. These are not by the same modder, 
by the way. These are by different modders altogether. Uh, the placeable walls, these are a mapper's paradise. Yeah, mapper's paradise jumping in. Pretty hyped about that. So we've got, uh, I believe it's five pieces here. We have a lone kind of end stick thing that you would see in between the walls. You have a small wall, a medium sized wall, which is two panels. And then you have a three panel version. Now keep in mind with these, they will have one of these on the end, giving you the option to add and do what you need to. And then once you're at your end, stick one of those down. Again, these do not um, mesh together. They do not snap. So you will have to be absolutely precise when you put these down. Uh, but I imagine if you're placing stuff like this to, to enhance your map, you're probably gonna be very meticulous anyway. And then when you get to a corner, Mapper's Paradise has you taken care of. We've got a corner piece, so you don't have to worry about putting one and then trying to do a nice 90 degree angle on it. They've done it for you. And I've gotta say, getting up close, the texture does not look bad at all. This texture looks really good. Mapper's Paradise, you outdid yourself. That's what I'm talking about. It's gonna be in decorations and it's gonna be on the other side of more trees. There it is. Mapper's Paradise wall single, wall double, wall triple, wall corner, wall pillar. All of these are gonna cost you 88 bucks. That's right, 88. It's a good year. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Next up, we have a fence pack. Now, this is a four piece fence pack right here. You have a single panel, double panel and a four panel. So we've skipped triples altogether, going straight for a four panel. And then you have your single post right here. Uh, these are by Stefan 1997. So these are gonna be in decorations, very first things up. Fence two meter, four meter, eight meter, and fence pole. So you've got $100, 150, 200, and $50. Very cool. There's some good stuff coming out right now. I mean, really good stuff coming out right now. We also have a new fertilizer spreader. This is by Sourcy Modding. Uh, also, the these guys right here, these are Giants mods. Uh, the bell fork over here was LS Mod Source and uh, CZ, and then Agritechnik Nordischiff. The, the Nordish Shuffle, whatever. I can't say it. I'm so sorry. Anyway, regardless, this is by Sourcy Modding. Uh, it's really, really cool. This is a neat little guy. Let's go check it out. Fertilizer technology. And then right here, Agrimat's Fertilizer Max. Click in. You've got one thing you can go from standard or wide tires, which wide tires look really good. And the standard tires look really good. They all look great. 2,500 liters, so you're going to be able to hold uh, two and a half pallets of solid fertilizer in here. That is all it will do, by the way. Solid fertilizer, 24 meter working width, and 13 mile an hour working speed. 13. That's pretty quick. It says, uh, say 12, 12, but this one's 13, so it goes one mile an hour faster. I think we're going to have to use that. Now, we do have an update to a mod. This is a really cool mod. A lot of people like it, but it's kind of misunderstood because a lot of people don't understand exactly how to do it. So today, sit back and relax. I'm going to tell you how I do these. We've got ponds, but not only do we have the pond that we had, which was this one, we got a baby pond. Yeah, a little bit baby one. And we have a big one, which is a totally different place on the map because I could not fit it here. I tried. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there. Yeah, I tried putting it up there. It don't work. Nope. So let's talk about here, right here. Let's go take a look at them. I believe these are going to be in miscellaneous and you're going to go to the right. There they are. Water station 250, 500 and 750. Now, these do not tell you which one is which. You're going to have to take a look at the price. So $250, 500, 750. You can probably guess which one's which. So water station, we got the little guy right here. This is the big one, by the way. We got the little guy. Let's place that down. And then let's go into landscaping. So you place it down, you're like, wait, where'd it go? What you want to do is you want to start in the middle with your sculpting, and you just want to drop it down a little bit. And then hit flatten. Now, 
you've got yourself a dugout area. Next, you want to go to the edge, and you just want to raise this up a little bit until it kind of eclipses it. So you've got that, and then hit flatten again. And then now, just go around the edge. Bam, bam, bam. There you go. Not perfect. You can come in and kind of decorate it however you wish. And then if you want to get the outside edges back up to where they were, come around and do so. And the great thing is, you probably look at this going, well, now it's all like that. And of course, if you wanted to come in and paint around the edges, you totally could to kind of give it that, okay, water to dirt to dead grass to grass. Don't worry, in the next update, we will be able to turn this grass back into growing grass. But nonetheless, you've seen the small, which is here. You saw the medium, which is we've had the entire time. And then we have the large. This is massive. I can't, I mean, you look at this, and you're like, wow, that's pretty big. But let's get over there and see how fast we can get over there. Nonetheless, here is the large version. It's incredibly massive so do keep in mind if you want a huge water piece on your map there you go guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you're not already please subscribe if you have any questions let me know down in the comment section below the map that i've used today was alps panorama so if you guys like this map you like the way it looks jump on download alps there you go with that being said i hope you have a great day yeah we'll see you later peace